Okay, this is the cement blocks. They've got the aluminum plate and the copper plate inside. These split because the plates are too wide. All right, I've got this section set up in parallel and this section set up in parallel. And then I've got these series together. That's why we're getting 2.1 volts. All right, what we're gonna do here this thing has been sitting all night long without a charge. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do is run this little motor and show the uh, current here. So let's try this. All right. You can see it's 20, almost 20 milliamps. Okay. All right. <clears throat> it did run the motor. Did not run the motor. All right, what we're going to do here is I'm going to set up and run 5 volts into it and we'll see what kind of current we can run into it. Let's see. Well, it's going to take about 15 volts to get about 100 milliamps into it. We'll let this charge up for about, I don't know, 10, 15 seconds, and we'll see what happens. All right. Going to disconnect now. <clears throat> And you can see the voltage is 3.3. All right, I'm going to hit the current meter now. You can see the little motors running. And the current meter is at 40 milliamps. The voltage dropping down okay Get that. all right what we're going to do is put four for one of those bricks we're going to put four equal parts uh, of sand, it's play sand, and we're going to put Portland cement, an equal amount of Portland cement. And that will make uh, the brick. And then I'm going to put about about two tablespoons of cement all, rapid set cement all. Okay. going to put some medium size graphite into it. That's about two tablespoons. I'll mix that up. And now I'm going to put about one tablespoon of 
A's Bionic Skin Mixture in there. And this has got everything that A had in his um, Bionic Skin. That's the, all that. You'll have to refer to that because I don't remember what he had in there. I could tell you things like uh, alum and salt substitute, borax, things like that, but I wouldn't know for sure. So, But this right here is what I mixed up and from that recipe. And then I'll put my carbon in that I made and I'll come back to you. Okay, this is the carbonization chamber and I just took it out of the after uh, fire after it cooled off. <clears throat> and we'll see what we get. It helps to take it off the correct way. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's see what we've got in it. Okay, that's the lint. That looks like uh, graphite. And you remember the lint was sort of a, a light blue. Now it's totally black. Okay. All right, we'll use that in the cement mixture. This is what it looks like. I guess that lint is totally carbonized, see? Well, we'll see. <laughs> okay. Okay. You can see it real good, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, here's the carbon. I got about two. Man, that disappeared. <laughs> that little bit that I had in the carbonization chamber just totally disappeared. Everything that was in the carbonization chamber, I, uh, I put in the mix. And you can see, once I hit it with the coffee grinder it just totally disappeared all right now i'll put that in here 
and mix it up good. The carbonization chamber was filled up with the lint, the lithium moly grease, and ammonia, and a little bit of graphite. Okay, I'm gonna mix this up. Okay. All right, <clears throat> I've got some choline chloride, and I'm gonna mix it with some water. So I'll put about one level tablespoon of choline chloride in the water. And I'll mix that up. I'll put it in the mixture. And then we'll mix up a little more water. What I'm going to do is make it into sort of a <clears throat> a loose pudding state. cement down in here. That will give the battery a support, a cement support. And then you can lay either one, it doesn't matter, concrete or, I mean the aluminum or the uh, copper in, <clears throat> pat it down, and then make sure it's, you know, the air bubbles are gone, and then take it. Lay about a quarter inch in between, quarter to half inch, I mean, uh, excuse me, one eighth of an inch in between the two plates, so that'll be the aluminum plate will go in next. because that quick set starts to set up a little bit faster. So one second. This thin, thin um, mix will help fill in all the voids 